Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are in Create a Sim and I am building a family for my base game only save file. If you are not familiar, um, I am building Newcrest from the top to the bottom and I'm creating sims and everything and community lots, residential lots, and I'm doing it all with the base game only. So if you are interested in seeing that, then definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I post on this save file. And I also do a lot of videos on uh, speed builds that use all of the packs. And I will do some also that only uses one pack or just a few packs. So if you're interested in seeing speed builds of any kind or create sim videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so much. And so yeah, this family here consists of a teenager who we are working on now and her younger brother and her two grandparents. So this family is two grandparents raising their two grandchildren. The parents of these kids went off on a vacation on a cruise somewhere, they were on a ship, and they were never heard from again. Um, they they pretty much, uh, the, the ship sunk. <laughs> the parents did not pass away though, don't worry. Um, I, they do not know this, the Sims do not know this, but I know this, they are just ha cast away somewhere. Um, so you can just think of like the Sims 2 cast away, yeah, that's where their parents are. So they're fine, they're just off living their best life on the island somewhere. Um, probably in Sulani or something, or just off the coast of Sulani. Um, and so, yeah, they will never see their parents again. Um, I know that that sounds really sad. Um, the way I said it sounded so sad, but it, I just needed a storyline, so. And I wanted to do something different. I always do, like, just a typical family, you know? So I really wanted to do, like, more diverse families, and this is a pretty different type of family like there's plenty of people in real life that are being raised by their grandparents and so it's a very real thing and so I really wanted to do that in my game and so this family I thought turned out so cute too so this right here is Cassidy Clark and she is the older of the two siblings and so her traits are geek and music lover so she absolutely loves playing the guitar like that is her passion in life and so her aspiration is musical genius she hopes to get into the musical career and um, I think the musical career you have to play the violin as well um, so I don't think I gave her the violin trait though, now that I'm thinking of it. So that's something that you guys, if you play her, you'll have to help her build her violin skill. But I already set her guitar skill. So I gave her some skills and so her skills are guitar, she's level 6, and video gaming level 3. She also loves playing video games. Um, she's very much a true geek. Um, she may not look like it, uh, she might look like the typical average girl from the outside, but she is very geeky on the inside and she loves Star Wars, she loves, you know, video gaming, she loves all of, like, Harry Potter, all of that stuff. She just absolutely adores it and so that's all of her favorite stuff and her likes are video gaming, like I was saying, guitar. Alternative music, hip hop music, pop music, the color purple, white, and the color black. And so her dislikes are gardening, fitness, and the color orange. Um, she She's tried gardening, okay? Her grandmother loves to garden. And so her grandmother wants her to get out there and help her garden all the time. But, you know, Cassidy just, that's not her... Thing. She does not like gardening, okay? She's kind of like, it's just like the bugs that really get to her and being in the dirt and she just doesn't get it. And the hot sun too, you know? She just doesn't get it. So um, yeah, she does not like doing that. But uh, she will help her grandmother in the kitchen, like cleaning up after dinner and maybe cooking dinner sometimes if she's not working or doing homework. So um, with that being said, she also has a job, a part-time job and she is a barista and 
Um, she's just level one, you know, she just started. <laughs> um, she has not been working here very often, or very long, should I say. But um, she's liking it a lot so far. She really enjoys having her own money to spend on whatever she wants. Um, not that she really necessarily needs to have a job. You know, her grandparents has it taken care of. They, they spoil these grandkids, okay? Just like grandparents do in real life. But um, that's just something to help her feel a little independent, you know? I feel like that's a, that's a thing that a lot of teacher or teenagers like to do is to get a part-time job either in the summer or after school and stuff. It just helps them feel a little bit more independent from their parents. And so, yeah, I wanted to do that for Cassidy. I felt like it was um, something that she would definitely do. And so these Sims are actually right next door to the Suzuki family. And if you have not seen the Suzuki family, I did actually record myself creating them as well. And it's up on my channel if you'd like to see it. They're, they turned out so cute. It's a three generational family. So definitely go check that out. It's, it's worth a watch. And these Create a Sim videos are not very long either. So it won't take you very long. So go over and go, uh, go check it out for me. And leave a like as well if you like it, of course. But um, anyways, like I was saying, so the Suzuki's are right next door. So the Clarks and the Suzuki's are, are very close neighbors. They're very good to one each other. They're like um, very good neighbors. A, the type of neighbor you would want to have, okay? Nobody wants to, you know, fight with their neighbors and so these two families are very much um, their friends. So the Clarks, the grandparents before the grandchildren moved in, they lived in this house. They raised their children in this house, okay? So they are still living in the same house that their kids grew up in. And so it's a very big family house, and that's good. It, there was enough bedrooms for the two grandchildren once they had to come move in. But um, so since they were there for 50 years, 50 plus years at that house, that is why they are so close to the Suzuki family. They moved in about like, probably about 10 years ago, 10 sim years anyways. Um, and so they, they hit it off right off the bat. The Suzuki family, like, like I was saying, is a three generational family. So there is an elder that lives over there. And so that elder, and so the grandpa over there and the grandpa over here, they are very close. They're like the best of buds. Um, but anyway, so this is Kyle. We're almost done with Kyle already. This is a shorter video, so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit on my talking, I think. But um, this is Kyle and his trait is a goofball. He's a very goofy kid, okay? He's like grandpa's little buddy too. And um, so his aspiration is rambunctious scamp and his likes are hip hop, kids radio, and he loves video gaming, he loves fishing, he loves mischief, and he loves the color red. And his dislikes are retro music, classical music, he hates the color purple as well. And his, his sister loves purple, so they clash in that aspect. And so he is a student um, at the elementary school, of course, and he's a, a B student. And his traits, or not traits, but his skills are motor level five, social level six, and he has a fear of the dark. Oh, and I forgot to say, Cassidy has a fear of swimming, and that kind of goes back to uh, how her parents disappeared. And uh, yeah, so we are getting into the grandpa now, but a little bit about like the relationships of each of these Sims. So. They are all very, very close. After what happened to the kids' parents, um, that just, the kids didn't get along too well before that, but now they are just, they're like the best of friends. And Cassidy really looks out for her younger brother. Like she's very protective of him. She will not let anyone bully him or be mean to him in any type of way. And uh, so they're, John, that's the grandpa's name is John Clark and Kyle. They have a very good bond as well and they spend a lot of time together. And John here actually has like a handiness bench and his garage. And then Kyle has his mental table in the garage and they kind of spend a lot of time there with each other. John shows his grandson a lot of things with handiness and teaches him a lot of stuff. And um, Cassidy spends a lot of time with her grandma, helping her in the kitchen, even helping her with gardening, even though she does not like gardening very much at all. 
Um, yeah, so a little bit about John. We are pretty much done with John now. But uh, his traits were cheerful, glutton, and family oriented. He has a fear of cow plants, okay? Um, I would too, honestly. And his aspiration is the curator, so he loves collecting things. He is a retired businessman. He was like an assistant manager or something like that in his career. And his skills are level four of charisma and level 10 of handiness. And his likes are retro music, fishing, handiness, the color blue and the color brown. And his dislikes are alternative music, video gaming, and pink. So he really doesn't like Cassidy's choice of music <laughs> and he cannot relate to the video games when it comes to his grandkids. But as long as his grandkids are happy, that's all he cares about. And so this is Rose Clark, this is the grandma, and her traits are family-oriented, creative, and a foodie. She has a fear of fire. So, fun fact, as I was uh, playtesting their house, they, they did have a fire breakout. And so ever since then, she's been uh, afraid of fire, okay? And so she's uh, unemployed. She really, uh, since she loves gardening, she's really good with gardening. She was able to make a living off of her gardening skill and so she would like just sell off her all of her plants and so that's why she's technically unemployed and her aspiration is a freelance botanist her skills are cooking at level 10 and gardening level 7 her likes are retro music cooking gardening and the color blue and her dislikes are mischief and yellow so grandma here she's is a very very sweet lady she is pretty much everyone's grandma um she will take in anybody they will she will help anybody when they need it she cooks all of her neighbors meals on a weekly basis cookies pies you know a, a just a like a cottage pie type of thing you name it and she does it she is always there for her neighbors for her family for anyone she is a very very sweet lady and her and grandpa they actually met back when they were in high school and they were high school sweethearts and they were married right out of high school and so very very young they've been together for like 60 plus years at this point and yeah they they had kids shortly after getting married and um, they unfortunately lost their daughter who was the mother of their grandchildren and they also had a son as well who they have fallen out of touch with. They have not heard from their son in years, uh, even longer than her daughter's been missing. So she does not have either of her kids, well neither does just John they they neither of them have either of their kids so they miss their kids very very much she wishes she would be able to hear from her son she pretty much thinks her daughter is is gone a uh, little does she know she is cast away on, on an island but um, yeah maybe uh, if you guys download the save file you'll be able to bring her back to the kids and to her parents because they miss them they they all miss her very much and um, their son-in-law as well and the kid's father. And so, yeah, this is the Clark family, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this family. It was, it was a little bit different of a story, um, but it's, it's very realistic for grandparents to be taking care of their grandchildren for one reason or another. And so um, I had a lot of fun making this family. And I, like I said, I think they turned out really cute. And that's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, then leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have not already. And with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Just surprised it's you